So today would probably be the day I'd call my first day of preparation for Everest Summit. Uh, I've only got about uh, less than 40 days now to prepare. Finally got the ankle. So, I mean, there's still a little bit of pain, especially going up steep sections like this. So, inflection, it uh, really hurts. But the doctors assure me it's only pain. So to get a bit of a grip, I just move into the snow here where it gets steep. And I'm just uh, obviously staying on the cautious side today. So heart rate's, oh, 170. <laughs> That's probably a bit too high, which just means back off the pace a bit, try and keep it down around 150. Obviously altitude, steep climb. And uh, the idea is just to keep moving basically, have a stop at the top to put my crampons on and head back down in the deep snow. So on the side of this mountain, I'm just going to attempt to get these crampons on and head up this way, all the way up past that blue lift. And in the background, you can see a yellow one that goes up a bit higher. But it's these little stops that take up a lot of energy, just putting crampons on. So my ice axe there, I'll keep in my hand the whole time. And up we go. This is where the work gets really, really tough. As you can see, the crampons on, how little my steps need to be, especially when we get down to a little steep bit like this. So I'm activating my quad muscles and calf muscles a lot, which is what I need. Not too much for the first day, but when we get steep like this. Uh, heart rate 160. So just keep doing little steps. And uh, yeah, love being out here. Love it. Okay, I'm stuck. This is where I'm struggling. When technical meets fitness. Lost my leg in the snow. And uh, I just have to uh, keep sinking really deep into the snow. So when technical meets fitness, whoo, bit of a struggle. I'll have to get my ice accent now. I think it's uh, there. Yep. All right, pull my phone away and try and get up this little bit. So I've made it up to the top of the first beginner slope, Kasana, the lift there. And I was aiming to go up to the next highest lift, but I do need to leave something for tomorrow. So I'll take it easy because now I have to try and traverse all the way across back to our hotel, which could be another hour or two of exploring to get back over and down to the hotel. So a little bit higher tomorrow, but I think that's uh, enough height for today. I'll go across and then uh, try to find my way back down. Bye. A beautiful walk through the forest here. Got to be very careful for watching for skiers coming through this uh, cross country track. Certainly getting the workout I wanted, that's for sure. That was super scary. I had to just uh, walk across here and I don't think the video will do it justice, but uh, there were skiers coming down and uh, it's so steep. If I had have slipped, I might have rolled all the way down to the bottom there. <laughs> Would be nice to have a climbing partner, but gotta do what I gotta do. So I found myself in trouble, exactly where I didn't wanna be. I'm off pist so there's no track to follow, a few uh, animal treads, but uh, as you can see, every step I take, I'm just, just stepping right into the deep snow. So hopefully I'm going to get across to another ski slope and head down to the village. But uh, on this terrain, it's quite dangerous. Use the trees a little bit, but uh, hopefully I don't fall. 
fingers crossed. Yay, I see a little bit of a track. Finally. a little bit easier now on this kind of track Whew. a little bit scary off the track but oh good oh good back on track we have head this way whoa just give it a work out we would have thought downhill That's where I've got to get to. Step. 